Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. This video is another redesign of my old customs or unfinished projects. So let's line these girls up and pick which ones I will be giving a new life to in this video. Just letting you guys know I will sound a little bit weird and have some weird moments because I am still getting over a cold and my nose is kind of plugged. So, yay! So I'm just going through the dolls deciding which two I should do. I ended up with Sam and Lamona. Sam has gone through a few redesigns and Lamona is actually from the Delightfuls Tropical Summer collab she did a while ago. So let's begin! Starting with Sam. For her face up I blush her eyes and lips with oranges and yellows and her cheeks and forehead with pink. I then draw the whites of her eyes. This is actually not the first her first face up and it's not the one she ends up with. But I use the same steps and color for the other one. I then use orange and pinks to add her eyebrows and add more orange to her lips. I add more details to her eyes and make her irises pink. I add some lashes and white dots to her cheeks as whiskers. And this was her first face up which will then be changed because I had to change the head. So this is her new face up. She has more eyelashes and more colors in her eyebrows. I also made her ears with two part epoxy and glued on some magnets to both the head and ears. Her hair was a struggle. I first rerouted with blonde and pink and nylon which cracked the head so I had to pull it all out of the head and start over with a new head. Hence the second face up. So for her new hair I used yellow and pink yarn. Like usual, I brush out the yarn and then straighten the webs. I then heat up a metal chopstick and curl the webs on the stick and use iron to really seal in the shape. I then spray each curl with hairspray so it lasts a lot longer and repeat for yellow and I have a bunch of pink and yellow curls. I then glue them one by one to the head at random, and she has a new head of hair. For her outfit, I'll be using Delightful Sundress Pattern. This is actually my second try of her outfit. We don't talk about the first one. For her dress, I'll be using this yellow fabric and this white fabric with yellow flowers on it. Now with all the pieces cut out, I can start with the bodice and the lining. I sew the front and back pieces together along the side for both the bodice and the lining. I then gather a yellow strip for the top ruffle. So what I did for this was, is that I attached it the little ribbon to only this part and then I sewed it in between here and here and then I sewed this all together and I sewed the sides fully together so that way it looks like a clean ribbon all the way across and then I can just attach it to the inner part here and I have a top. For this skirt, I gather up a few pieces of yellow strips after sewing them together. I then attach the ruffle to the skirt. I then gather the waist of the skirt and sew it to the bodice. I sew up the back of the skirt only halfway and add some snap closures and a waistband and the dress is done.
time for Lamona. For Lamona, I will be rerouting with yellow and pink nylon. Like so, the front will be yellow and then the middle towards the middle will be yellow and then the rest will be pink for the back. And then I will sparse in some hair in between. I start with pink and then add the yellow. Once done, I pour in glue to the head and use a Q-tip just to make sure all the hair is covered. To style, I do half braid ponytails. For the face-up, I start with drawing on the shape of the eyes with white. This face-up also goes through a bit of changes, you'll see that later on. I then go with pink blushing around the eyes and lips and also add some yellow to under her eye. For the eyebrows, I start with yellow and then add some orange and pinks. I add more color to the lips and more details around the face, like a band-aid and some scars, just to copy the original face up. I then use paint to add more details to the eyes, like the liner and her irises. For her irises, I'm going for a lemon look, like I want them to actually look like lemons. <laughs> I add a whole lot of sparkle and I gloss her eyes and lips. For her top, I use the crop top pattern from Moonlight Jewel's book. I sew the cuffs to the sleeves, I then sew on the collar, and I close the shirt with sewing the side and the sleeves. I then hem the bottom and add a closure. I add some lemon details to the shirt as well. Again, I use Moonlight Jewel's dungarees pattern from her book. I have previously made them in my Rainbow Cyclops video, so check that video out for a better tutorial on how to make them. I add some lemon details to her pants and give her some socks. For her oversized hoodie slash jacket, I used a Lightfuls pattern. I will be using this pink and yellow fabric as well as this lemon patterned fabric. I cut out all the pieces. For a better tutorial, I will recommend watching the Lightfuls Harujuku doll video because I made it in a little bit of a weird way. I start with the hoodie slash lining. I sew the trim in between the two pieces, good sides it. I then add the cuffs to the sleeves. Now I wanted a lining for the coat as well, so I sew the back and front pieces at the shoulder for both. To attach the hood, I place it in between the two sides, just like the trim for the hood. And the opening of the hood is actually facing the good side of the pink lining. I then attach the sleeves, I then close the side and the sleeves together. I then add the bottom and inner trims and the jacket is done. And here are the final dolls, Sam and Lamona. I find it funny that when I do these redesigns, the dolls are either similar in color or similar in theme. I don't know how that works out, but it does. I love how they both turned out they are way, way better than the originals. Sam is the teacup mouse. She loves to throw tea parties and invite her friends. She often visits Wonderland and joins the Mad Hatter at his tea parties. She loves how everything gets turned upside down and twisted. Lamona is all about lemons and pink lemonade. It is her favorite drink, and everyone always says that she makes the best lemonade, which is why Sam always invites her, her over to the tea parties. Lamona is sweet and sour, but mainly she is always sweet to her friends. Thank you all for joining me today, and creating these dolls was a lot of fun. 
Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you guys soon. Bye!